As the land of the free and the home of the brave celebrates its birthday this week, I have a few thoughts on what freedom actually means in this week's Facts Over Fear. I often think of freedom in two distinct ways, freedom to and freedom from. So here's what I mean. We have the freedom to sit outside and enjoy a chat with a friend, but we don't have the freedom from breathing polluted air. Just this past week, the Supreme Court basically ruled that judges, not experts, get to decide what makes the air dangerous to breathe. And then there are the freedoms outlined in the Constitution. We're supposed to be free to practice any religion, but are we free from religion? Not if you're a student in Louisiana or Oklahoma. I mean, every public classroom in Louisiana, from elementary schools to colleges, are going to be required to display the Ten Commandments starting in January. And that's the same in Oklahoma, but they have to have a Bible in every classroom, too. And now let's talk about one of the most basic personal freedoms, the freedom to make decisions about our own bodies and the freedom from government overreach. It is getting harder and harder for a pregnant person in this country to make decisions about their own pregnancies, which is leading many to be denied the freedom from lifelong medical issues or even death. Without the right to self-determination, without that freedom, we have nothing. And freedom as defined by Merriam-Webster is the quality or state of being free, such as the absence of necessity, coercion, or constraint in choice or action. That is freedom. And that, my friends, is a fact.